Play-Doh. We have all used Play-Doh. We have all created the classic flowers, breakfast, and faces. But did we learn anything from it? Did it teach us anything? The answer is yes. But what did it teach us? It taught us not to eat it or smush it so much that it gets underneath our fingernails. But what skills did it teach us that we would carry through from this early stage of life? Children learn through play. For example, in the haircut shop playset, children learn sequencing skills. First you need the dough. Then you insert it into the figure. Then you put the figure in the chair and wind the knob to watch the hair grow. Next you take your Play-Doh scissors and practice your hair cutting skills. And then you use your imagination and pretend that your freshly grown friends go dance at a party. There are many different ways to make Play-Doh. So many different recipes and ingredients. But the ingredients that are almost always in Play-Doh are flour, salt, vegetable oil, water, cream of tartar, and if you want, food coloring. Making Play-Doh in a classroom or at home with younger children is educational. Talking about the texture of the ingredients used teaches children adjectives and science vocabulary such as wet, dry, hard, and mushy. Speech language pathologist Nancy says, I have often used Play-Doh to help my clients who have difficult behavior and short attention spans to sit for longer periods of time. They become so interested in the task that they forget that they are cooperating and paying attention. According to my interviewee and intern from Hasbro, the company that makes Play-Doh, the most popular age group that uses Play-Doh is children ages 5 through 10. This is because children about 4 and under may not be trusted to use Play-Doh and not eat it. Children about 11 and older lose interest in Play-Doh but still play with it every once in a while with younger siblings or to bring back memories. The time when older children do use Play-Doh is when they are exploring electricity. The most, one of the most popular questions that people have about Play-Doh is does it conduct electricity? I decided to test that out. In this video, children are trying to figure out how many LED lights Play-Doh can light up at once. Are these lights gone? Oh, they don't light up anymore. As you can see, Play-Doh does conduct electricity and can light up as many LED lights as it can fit. Play-Doh teaches children lessons and skills, but was it supposed to teach us? Was it even supposed to be Play-Doh? Well, actually, Play-Doh was originally wallpaper cleaner. It was accidentally invented by Noah McVicker in the 1930s. Several years later, in the 1950s, his nephew Joseph McVicker's sister-in-law, a preschool teacher, thought that it would be a good idea to make Play-Doh a children's modeling clay. They called it Kutil's Rainbow Modeling Compound. That didn't really fit, so they decided to call it Play-Doh. Play-Doh was very often used in schools and was very popular because it was non-toxic and easy to clean. Play-Doh also helps children develop their fine motor skills. Fine motor skills are the coordination of small muscle movements in the fingers and hands. The result of molding and squeezing the Play-Doh helps to exercise those muscles. Play-Doh also helps children develop their fine motor, their sensory processing skills. Children who have sensory processing disorder can use Play-Doh to help them get used to touching different textures with their hands. Sensory processing disorder is a problem in which people's brains have trouble interpreting and responding to different information from their senses. Play-Doh can Play-Doh can also help relieve stress. The kneading of the dough can be very therapeutic and calm. <laughs> also, it's possible to add scents to Play-Doh for aromatherapy. In case you don't know, aromatherapy is the use of pleasant scents to calm and soothe the mind. <laughs> Scan the QR code to the left to visit my blog and read the challenges and successes that I have faced during Capstone. Scan the QR code to the right or type in the URL to visit the Play-Doh website. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Have a great day.